Well, joining me now from United States via Zoom, I have former assistant director of the Department of State Services, DSS, Denisa Macri. And in the studio, I have political analyst, a right activist, and executive member, Joint Action Front, Achika Chudi. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming on the show. Thank you. It's good to be here. Thank you. All right. Let me begin with you, um, Mr. Dennis Amakri. Do you think uh, is the insecurity in Nigeria exaggerated, or uh, do you agree with those who say the Americans are making a mountain out of a molehill? Uh, thank you very much uh, for inviting me here. Um, I don't know. We have. Uh, unknowingly escalated this thing out of proportion. Uh, you know, um, maybe we were not listening. Uh, this particular security alert was uh, issued by the DSS two weeks ago. And then, of course, many people maybe don't take it seriously because it was Nigeria. Now, the foreign uh, embassy actually has announced full, I say, follow-up to the DSS a lot that uh, people should be very, very much uh, careful because there might be terrorist activities in the Federal Capital Territory. Now, when you look at it, that particular alert that is even causing all the hula balo in the country was not issued to Nigerians. It was issued to United States citizens directly from their consulate not to Nigerians, but one way or the other, it has leaked out, and then we have uh, everybody, you know, panicking and uh, moving around and, uh, you know, making uh, all kinds of statements. Uh, now we should be very, very uh, aware about this, that alerts are not made to panic individuals or anybody. They are made to make you to be very much aware, uh, to be conscious, so that um, you will be, you know, uh, safe wherever you are. And if you see anything, you should now report to the security agencies. So I think uh, that's what the situation will find ourselves. It is not something that um, it's antagonistic. Um, I think it's something that uh, is just to preempt any manifestation of a secure uh, of uh, a terrorist attack in the federal capital. All right. I also want to find out if you think the uh, mere assurance by the DSS are enough to come frighted Nigerians. Uh, well, of course, when uh, things like this happen, uh, the DSS before they even come out to tell you that uh, you should be aware, they know more than they are saying, because they will go ahead and actually pursue that particular source of information that they have heard. So you find out that they are going to go ahead and do it, and uh, but at the same time, they just want the public to be notified. And at the same time, you know, if you hear something, you say something to them. All right, thank you for your contribution so far. But let me come to you, uh, Chike Chudi. Uh, do you think, or how can Nigeria and its foreign uh, partners work together to defeat terrorism? Well, I think they've been working together. <laughs> I mean, uh, because, um, because of the fact that uh, the terrorists themselves work together. And so you have a global you know, terrorist uh, network uh, that uh, causes uh, mayhem and uh, you know, problems all over the world, different parts of the country. There's always this synergy between you know, uh, different uh, terrorist organizations, and uh, that is the only way they can be as effective as uh, they usually are, uh, you know, in spreading uh, terror. And so uh, the counter is to also have a global, uh, you know, network of uh, countries and coalitions that are dedicated and committed to fighting uh, terrorism. And we have seen that, and it's not just among countries, but you see this, you know, effort being coordinated in part by uh, international agencies, United Nations, for instance, uh, the European Union, the African Union, uh, ECOWAS, you know, and uh, so the, there's, there's always been this cooperation, and uh, which um, uh, has provided, uh, you know, invaluable sources of uh, information. 
uh, that have been acted upon, you know, by various countries. Uh, also, uh, the issue of, uh, you know, the financing of terrorism. Uh, you have uh, some of these international bodies and some of these countries also weighing in too, uh, to ensure that the uh, illicit uh, flow of uh, money uh, is, um, you know, curtailed also. And, uh, of course, you remember the, the issue we had, I think, with the Kingdom of uh, is it United Arab Emirates or so, uh, that also gave, you know, Nigeria um, the list of uh, people who were found to be collaborating with them um, uh, sponsoring, uh, you know, terrorism in Nigeria. So we've always had this, this uh, international, you know, uh, cooperation when it comes to the issue of terrorism. Uh, perhaps uh, the problem might arise uh, from the fact that uh, there is not enough of this cooperation and there much more needs to be done. Uh, so, and I want to believe, of course, there have been so much, uh, you know, issues over, uh, you know, um, this particular alert advisory that came out. Uh, whether there was a coordination between the American government and then the DSS, I want to believe that there was. Uh, you know, if we didn't, if we didn't have that kind of uh, collaboration, then it means that there is something obviously something wrong. But as for whether countries, um, you know, should cooperate, they do cooperate. You mm -hmm. know, and then they have always cooperated, and we always continue to cooperate because of the global nature of terrorism. If you allow it to fester in a particular part of the world, be sure that it's going to get to your own part of the world. All right. So the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed's um, reaction must have angered some people. Uh, but do you stand with him on the idea that Americans went um, overboard with this whole thing? I, I don't know. Just like uh, Mr. Macri has said, that this was an advisory uh, to the consulate, to their own people in Nigeria. You know, so it was leaked to the public. The American government was not advising Nigerians. They were not talking to Nigerians. Mm. The DSS had done that before now. So what the minister should be concerned about is how something that was supposed to be an internal communication between the American government and their staff in Nigeria, how it became a matter of uh, public uh, interest. And so from that perspective, you cannot blame you know, the American government you know, for the leakage. They have to find out the source of that leakage. And then... Uh, you know, obviously Nigerians, just like you rightly said, have not been happy with uh, the uh, attitude or the statement put out by the Minister of uh, Information. And it's not just, you know, indicating that the Americans had gone overboard with this, but the fact that he was trying to, at a time, uh, trying to insinuate or claim that uh, it's just the mere imagination of a figment of a people's imagination that is being powered by social media. That was not a very responsible thing because... You know, there was this alert, and then there was, you know, an action, you know, based on that alert. And the operation by the DSS in Abuja in a particular residential area is reported by the media, you know, to, uh, you know, which a certain suspects of uh, ISWAP were arrested. Mm. And so this came almost at the heel, the, on the heel of uh, the alert that was being circulated either by the DSS or by the American government. And then you now have this action immediately. So that's an indication that there is actually something. And so the Minister of, uh, of uh, Information did not do himself any favor, neither did he do the government any favor, the way he responded. All right. Thank you very much for your contributions.